Hey guys, Hacker Tech here for another video tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to download torrents onto your Android device and stream them to your TV. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to download some apps in order to do this. Uh, the first one that we'll probably want to download is going to be the app to actually be able to uh, download the torrents. And so I use one called Flood, and I'm going to go ahead and show that one here. In my media folder here, I've got Flood open. So here you can see the interface of the application. You'll be able to see all of the different torrents that you have currently downloading or that you've already downloaded. And if I go ahead and open up this one here, uh, you can see in the files section that you can just go ahead and click on that folder icon and see all the physical files uh, that have downloaded from the torrent. And you can also tap on the file that you've downloaded and open it up with other apps installed on your Android device. So the reason that I like Flood so much is uh, the interface is very simple. For me, Flood's just been the most reliable uh, torrent downloading application that I've used so far, and it's crashed on me the least, so uh, this is my torrenting app of choice. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a way to get those torrents downloaded onto your device, and of course you can actually just go into your web browser and uh, search for, you know, on one of the torrenting sites, a torrent for whatever file that you want to download. Uh, but myself personally, it's I find it a little bit tedious to have to go into uh, Chrome and search for different websites to find a torrent. So I've actually found a really good application called Torrent Search. It's not available in uh, the store, but you can actually download the APK for this file or for this application, and it allows you to search through a number of different torrenting sites. So here I could just type in uh, the name of a show or software or whatever it is that I want to torrent. So let me go ahead and just put in a sample here. So for here example, I've just put in the name of a movie and you can click on this drop down right here uh, to look at all of the different options. And so you can see that these are all the main uh, popular torrenting sites that you can use. Of course, some of these might not necessarily be super active, but I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these and click on the little search button here. And so it's going to go ahead and bring up all the torrents uh, that match that criteria. So I can look through the list here. And if you haven't found one that you want to use, you can go ahead and select other torrenting sites and search those locations as well. So here we, uh, we can see that the top one looks like that one should be good. Uh, there's a few other ones down here that have a few more cedars, and you'll notice here that uh, it gives the name of the torrent, the file size, and then in that little parentheses there, those two numbers, if you're not familiar, are the cedars and leechers. So uh, for example here, if we look at this one, there's 22 cedars, 152 leechers. So that just basically means that there are 22 people who are currently uploading the file or currently have it streaming from their device for you to be able to download the file. There's 152 people that are essentially downloading the file. Uh, so you want to look for more seeders than leechers ideally. Uh, the more seeders there are, the better chance the file is going to download quickly. Now before you download the file, one of the things you're going to want to do is connect to a VPN application. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because when you're downloading torrents, depending on the carrier or the uh, provider of your a wireless service. So for example, AT&T, uh, they do have restrictions with torrenting any kind of content regardless of whether or not there's any copyright restrictions, things like that. Um, but it is something that uh, you're going to want to be careful about because you can get fined or you can get, you know, in trouble for doing this, so you don't want to be downloading torrents over your normal wireless network. So I usually will connect to a VPN application in order to download these torrents. Now there's a number of different options that you can use. Okay, so for paid VPN services, I'm going to go ahead and show you one that I use here called IP Vanish. We'll go ahead and search for that in the Play Store here. IP Vanish is a fairly new VPN offering here, but uh, I started using them recently, and they have a lot of really great uh, features that they offer. So, so one of the things I like a lot about this particular VPN service is uh, that you have a lot of different countries you can kind of choose from here. So if you wanted to uh, appear as though you're downloading something from Australia or Argentina or Bulgaria, uh, you can do that. And I also like that this particular VPN service is supported on uh, pretty much any platform. It's available on Linux and Mac, uh, Android, iOS, so all of the different platforms that you might find yourself using, IP Vanish does support it. So if you're looking for a reliable and long-term paid VPN application, 
IP Vanish is definitely the one that I would go with. Uh, if you're not 100% sure and you want a free one to use for now, uh, I've used BetterNet as a free VPN application here. So this is one that I was previously using before I started using IPVanish. Um, and it is also a very good application. You can download that one from the Play Store as well. And it's got a very simple interface here. I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Before I start downloading a torrent, all I do is click on the connect button here. Okay, so after you connect to the VPN, you'll see something like this. So it'll show that uh, you are currently connected. You'll get this blue little circle. And in the top right-hand corner of your screen, right to the left of the Wi-Fi icon, you'll see that little key icon. And that's going to indicate that you are connected to the VPN client. So if you see the key icon disappear, it means that the VPN may have uh, disconnected. But as long as that's connected and you see that key icon, you're good. So that means that you're safe and you're able to browse the internet securely. Uh, and whenever you're downloading your torrents, you don't have to worry about any kind of privacy issues. You don't have to worry about your activity being monitored, things like that. So now that we're connected, uh, we would be good to go to download the torrents. Now I mentioned before that I downloaded this torrent search application, uh, but I didn't get it from the Play Store. So I wanted to show you where I did find that from. Uh, I actually downloaded it from a third-party app store called Aptoid. Now if you don't have that installed on your device, all you have to do is open up your Chrome browser and search for Aptoid. And if you go to Aptoid.com, here I'm going to go to the mobile version, you can see here all you would have to do is click on the install Aptoid uh, little download link there. And before you're able to do that, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to install apps uh, from unknown sources, so I'm going to just go ahead and go into my settings here. And for me, if I scroll down here, all I have to do is go ahead and click on the security option. And if I scroll down here under device administration, see here where it says unknown sources, you're going to want to make sure that that bubble is uh, checked or selected, that it shows green, uh, so that that feature is enabled. Uh, this is going to allow you to download APKs from anywhere on your Chrome browser or that you download from the internet instead of having to only download apps from the Play Store. So once you have Aptoid installed on your device, you can go ahead and open it up. And I just searched for torrent search. And then if we scroll down here, I'm going to show you the exact one that I was able to find. Uh, it's very similar to a lot of the other ones here in terms of the name. So the best way for me to find it is kind of by this icon. Uh, but this is the one that I downloaded. And when you open it up, you'll see the screenshots here of what the app looks like. So this is the one that I installed. It's called Torrent Search and then in parentheses Torrent Finder. So all you have to do, you can see I have it installed, but there would be an install button. And as long as you have unknown sources checked, uh, in your settings, you should be able to install this on your device. And you'll just click on install and continue through the installation process. And once that's installed, you'll be able to go through and look through the different torrents available to download one. And I'll go ahead and show you the process of how it works. Once you've searched for your torrent, uh, you can go ahead and select one here. So I'm just going to choose one of these random ones. And you just tap on it. And once you tap on it once, uh, usually you'll have the option to either open it up in uh, Flood or one of your torrenting apps that you have installed on your Android device or you can also open it in Chrome where it will then default uh, usually install or open into your uh, torrent app that you have installed. Uh, so I have it automatically going to Flood. So once this torrent opens in your Flood application or whatever application you choose to use, in this case if I click on the plus button in the top right hand corner, it's going to go ahead and download that torrent. It's going to start uh, downloading all of the information. So you can see here it currently says downloading metadata and then it's going to go ahead and give you the amount of time it's going to take to download the file. Uh, for me, Flood has been I think probably the fastest application for downloading torrents. You can see that it's very quick already. It's uh, downloaded almost a, a megabyte here just after uh, opening this up in the application a few seconds later it's going pretty quick now that time there is going to go down significantly of course right now it says five hours but uh, for me for a movie usually it won't take more than uh, about 30 minutes or so I have a decent internet connection and then if I'm downloading uh, a television show you know it might uh, download in 15 or so minutes so it just kind of depends it depends on how many seeders there are for that particular torrent it depends on uh, your connection and a lot of other things so uh, in this case all I would have to do is just let it keep running and then once you see that 
it goes from the downloading status to completed status, then the file will be completely downloaded and you can go ahead and stream it to your device. Now once it does complete, uh, if you don't want to continue seeding the file, then you can go ahead and just click on that pause button and it's going to go ahead and stop it from seeding. Uh, it will also pause it if you're in the process of downloading the file. Uh, but once it is completed, I usually will pause it uh, just to make sure that it's not using up any of my data. You don't want to risk uh, using up LTE data, especially if you have a cap on yours uh, when you don't need to be doing so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that for now, and then the next step would be to actually be able to stream this file uh, that you've downloaded, any kind of video file that you download, to your television. And there's a number of ways that you can do this. Um, the easiest way is if you have something that accepts uh, a casting app to be able to stream to it. And so for me personally, I usually just stream it straight to my Xbox. Uh, I have an Xbox One, and so you can just go ahead and stream it straight to that device if you have uh, an Xbox or a PS4, either of those will work. The other way that you can stream it to your television set is using one of the uh, different options for casting devices. So there's a Chromecast, Amazon Fire, then there's also the Amazon Fire Stick, and the Roku stick. And then if you have the Amazon Fire TV or the Roku TV, those will work. Apple TV, there's a lot of different options uh, for streaming devices that you can use to cast torrents uh, straight to your television. So for any of those devices that you choose to use, uh, all you have to do in order to stream the file from your Android device to your streaming device of choice is you simply find the video file. So what I'll usually do is I'll go in uh, to my file explorer. In my case I use something called ES File Explorer and I usually just search for the downloaded file. So I've got like an episode of the strain here that I can just search for. And so here I have the actual physical video files. Now in order to stream this to the device all I have to do is simply tap on the video file and I use something called Allcast. Also something that you can download from the Play Store both ES File Explorer and Allcast are apps that can be downloaded from the Play Store. And Allcast actually has a free version and a paid version. The paid version increases the amount of time that you're able to cast and stream uh, files from your device to your TV set from about a five minute limitation to unlimited. And there's a lot of different apps that you can use. Uh, I have a few other ones installed here. Bubble UPnP is a good one, uh, Localcast. Allcast has been the one that I chose to use because it's been the most reliable and the fastest one. The other ones always seem to give me problems, so I always use Allcast. And so all you have to do is click on this Allcast icon, and you can see it's going to go ahead and say searching for players. Now if you have your device connected to your Wi-Fi network, then you will usually be able to uh, cast it straight to any of the devices that uh, are nearby. So if you have a Chromecast or an Xbox or an Amazon Fire TV, Amazon uh, Fire Stick, etc. All those devices you can stream straight to it. Uh, just make sure that when you're using this, you're going to want to make sure that you've disconnected from your BetterNet if you haven't already. So here I'm disconnecting from the BetterNet application. Uh, you want to make sure that this is disconnected because if you're still connected to the BetterNet application, then uh, you're going to receive an error or if you try and connect using Allcast or any of the different streaming apps. Uh, it's going to give you either an error message or you're just not going to be able to find your device. So if you're, for example, trying to stream to your uh, Amazon Fire Stick, it's not going to find that device if you're connected to the VPN because it's blocking the connection. It doesn't recognize it being on your Wi-Fi network. But that's essentially all that you have to do uh, with that Allcast application that I was just mentioning. Uh, once you have that opened up, you can actually pause, uh, rewind, fast forward the video or stop it uh, straight from the application or you can also use uh, for an Amazon Fire TV or an Xbox One, all those different devices. You can also use the controls on your controller to control uh, the video that you're streaming. Uh, but it works really great if there's a video of any kind or anything that you want to cast to your TV uh, that you can't find on, for example, Netflix or Hulu, which I do frequently use. But if you can't find it on one of those services and you, you want to be able to torrent it and stream it to your device, this is the best way that I've found my personal method uh, of doing so.
So that's it. That's just a quick little video tutorial on uh, streaming your torrented video files or uh, whatever files you want to cast to your television set on Android. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.